friends, welcome to video tutorial of best commerce installation and admin panel setup. I'm here to introduce the Salesforce native e-commerce application that is complete package to avail e-commerce features within Salesforce CRM. Going through many native Salesforce e-commerce applications and deep analysis on them, we are here to present VegCommerce which will provide best features with user interface never experienced before. This platform allows Salesforce users to centralize e-commerce and CRM with back-end and front-end functionalities. We talk about features. It has beautiful storefront with notion of listing simple product and as well as we have implemented product variable as well. Well integrated with popular payment gateways like Stripe and PayPal and few other options as offline methods and call as well. Upgrade your site in terms of SEO in process to boost the optimization rate of a site. All elements related to checkout processes are designed in a single page to reduce the steps of process. It has guest checkout functionalities as well. Functionality of guest checkout which is available to allow no forced registration to go through checkout processes. It allows users of a site to enable sharing via multiple social media dedicated to content sharing and it allows display of multiple images of a product with zoom functionalities and there are lots of features to avail once we install and set up this at the Salesforce end so let's proceed for that this is the blog through which you will get all the steps in order to install and set up it so once we proceed further in order to install there are a few pre-installation requirements that you need to make sure about it First of all, you need to enable customer portal in your Salesforce org. So you may go through this link in order to get the steps in order to just activate the customer portal. And also you need to enable a state and country or territory quick list. So you will get the steps from this link as well. Once you enable both these functionalities, you need to go through this install now link to install this application from App Exchange. So let's proceed. From the App Exchange, you need to search for VegCommerce. In the search details, you will find the application. So let's proceed further. So this is the VegCommerce application that we need to install. Click on Get It Now, and it will ask to log in with your Salesforce credentials. Once you are logged in, it will ask for the option to install in production or sandbox. So you need to proceed accordingly. Further, it will provide few information related to this application, like package information and all. So go through it and uh, check mark this and click on confirm and install. Further, it will ask to log in again with the Salesforce credentials and uh, you need to select install for all users and click on install and it will further start the process. On this page, you need to select check mark this so that it will allow access to these sites. So let's proceed further and click on continue which is required. You can click over here to get further details about this app information which is listed about this site over here. So let's proceed further. Click on continue to install this application. Once it gets successfully installed in your Salesforce or you will get redirected to the install packages page and uh, click on the app menu and you need to click on batch commerce to go to the admin panel. So now we are in the admin panel of the Wedge Commerce application that we have installed just now. From here we can handle the backend of this application, right? So we are in the store administration section and we have few options over here that we are going to configure. So first of all, we need to select store manager over here in the drop down you will get all the users list in, the, in which you can select the concerned and specific person 
Further, all these price books will be listed over here. So you need to select accordingly as per your requirement. If we talk about portal account, this account will consist all the contacts and further it will be treated as users. So you need to create one account and if you have already created then you can select that a specific account will be just treated as a portal account. So let's suppose I have created some accounts over here for the for the requirement like we have portal account, registered user account, the registered user account in which all the orders of the registered users will get listed and you can get the collective information from there. And the same way as we have guest user account or the guest checkouts, all the orders placed by the guest users will be listed down in this specific account that you will update over here. So like we have few accounts that I have created for the same. I have created one guest user account, portal account and registered user account and I'm going to select the same. You can name as per your requirement as well. So first of all, I'm going to select portal account. The name randomly I have given. Guest user account in which all the orders of the guest users will get listed. Notification timeout is the time frame that you will mention over here that is in milliseconds on which if you just switch to any page, if you click on any information, the pop-up time is for that specific seconds that you will, milliseconds that you will mention over here. So let's suppose I'm just randomly placing 1500 milliseconds. I can say it is just for the uh, front end pop-up notification to appear on the screen. So we need to mention that a specific time frame. So it will take that a specific time accordingly. And also you need to select the default Salesforce or currency from here. And uh, all the prices will automatically will display with this currency symbol that you're going to select from here, which is which must be your Salesforce default or currency. And from here, you need to select terms and conditions. Like uh, if you have uh, created some articles on that, so you can select from here as I have created one terms and conditions. So I'll guide you how we can create articles as we do have article section separately for this. So let's save it as I have selected all the proper options available on this store administration page. So let's save it. So it's saved successfully. So now let's proceed for the articles that how we can create articles based on the requirements that can be helpful for the terms and conditions to select in the same. So let's proceed to uh, create articles for our requirement. So now I'm in article section. So over here, as I have already created one terms and condition to select in that a specific one. So in the same way you can create, this is the option if you want to search any specific article that you have created. And uh, this plus icon will help you to create some articles as per your requirement. And the gear icon along with that, that is if you have selected you need a specific article to delete so you can select from here delete selected and delete all option over here and further if you want to edit this article if you want to delete it based on the requirements all the functionalities has been displayed so let's proceed quickly to uh, just uh, I'll show you quickly how we can create articles over here you can just uh, create any article And you need to fill all the content in this section. And save. So you can see the demo article has been and the content, everything has been uh, created. So in the same way, if you go to your store administration and if you want to select this article, so it will be displayed in this and you can just select and save it.
so in this way you can create articles and use it accordingly so as we are done with the stored administration and articles let's proceed with payment processors let's click on that so over here as I have already defined a few payment methods as PayPal, Stripe, offline methods and call so let's proceed how we can configure it if you want to create anyone so you can click on the plus icon and over here you will find all the options like I have already created the PayPal and Stripe and all the options so let's proceed to just verify what options we are getting over here in order to create it so you can put the name the status that will make it as active and the PayPal business account and the mode as well so you need to go through all this information and uh, fill the information accordingly and you need to click on save and it will be saved according so in the same way if you just select stripe so it will ask for all the required information um, this is the active status that is check mark if you want to make this method active for the transactions so you need to put the name accordingly and uh, the image ID the company logo and everything you need to put the image I company logo ID from here from the Salesforce from the uh, document that you need to find out the ID and enter the ID over here as well the company logo ID accordingly the modes as well you need to fill all the information for this is stripe and then save settings and it will be stored accordingly like this I have already configured So in this way you need to configure it based on your requirements. So if you talk about a few other options that we have offline methods which contain like COD checks and everything and also for call if payment is going on through call. So these are the payment methods that we have already consisting in this so that you need to configure as per your requirement what exactly you want to figure it out and if you want you can just make this active inactive based on the requirement as well so for now I have done with stored administration articles and payment processors in this admin panel setup and installation process so I'll get back to you with few more videos in order to configure templates product catalogs and orders customers and wishlists and card as well so thank you for your time have a great day ahead